Namaste. Well, I wanted to make this video for a long time, but uh, I was trying to be patient with y'all. But now it's a, it's a nice, dark, rainy, cloudy morning. So it's just the perfect mood. And I guess I'll come right to the point. I'm very disappointed with the people who consider themselves my students. I mean, we've got like over a thousand subscribers on this video channel, which I've been working on uh, under, under this channel name for like eight years. And before that, I had another channel, which had a bit of a different theme, but it was really still along the same lines. And, of course, the, the whole idea with doing a YouTube channel is to meet people, right? <laughs> and in my case, I wanted to meet people who are uh, qualified, sincere, and, and serious students of the esoteric and who are looking for uh, a deeper teaching, a more complete and intellectually satisfying teaching, uh, a non-sectarian, open, broad-minded teaching, which is still authentic and grounded in the scriptures and approved of by realized souls. So that's what went into this. That's was, that was the intention of this. And now here we are eight years later, and none of my so-called students can even hold a, a satisfying, intelligent conversation about this teaching. Huh? Like... What's up with that? Let me give some examples. I've presented many, many times the Chatur Darshanam, the four views given by Shankaracharya. Uh, the Dvaita Vada, Vishishta Dvaita Vada, Vivarta Vada, and Ajata Vada. Can anybody define any of those four terms? even though I've defined them on these series literally dozens of times. We have a private chat on Signal where the, the more interested and active students can interact with me directly. And nobody has ever even used those terms or, or interacted with me, you know, to try to understand them better. An even more cogent example would be Paticca Samupada, the process of becoming given by the Buddha. Ever since the very first videos on this channel, huh, the Foundation series, and so on, we have been using the example of Paticca Samupada as the process of becoming. The process of becoming is how we become who we are and how we become who we're going to be in the future. So it's really, really important. It is also the, the functional essence of all spiritual paths. But I have not had anybody even use the term Paticca Samuppada in an email or a message or a comment or a discussion on our chat group or what to speak of any of the terms within Paticca Samupada. Like Sankara. Some months ago we did a whole series on Sankara. And I don't think anybody can even spell it properly. I mean, what's up with that? We've given matrix learning the series, 
so that you have the techniques to study this teaching and really duplicate it. But nobody has duplicated it. Nobody has cleared their misunderstood terms. Nobody has followed any of my instructions as far as I can tell. We even had one guy, after a lot of personal drama, show up here in India, and he's completely unprepared. I can't even have an intelligent conversation with him about the teaching. He just wants me to help him fix his personal problems, which, hey, I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a family therapist. You know what I mean? That's not my job. Yeah, I could do it, but I can do something much better than that. Who is going to sign up for that program? So, you know, it's like after all these years and all this effort and all the time expended in, in counseling people and chatting with people and uh, interacting, uh, you know, off, off this channel on other venues, you know, I, I just feel like really disappointed. And I have felt that way about this work from the beginning. Because from the beginning, there was so little response, and what little response there was, was like, not even in the ballpark. You know, and, and it's still that way today. Look, it's nice if you can come back and say, oh, I loved your video, you're a great guy, you know, <laughs> and all like that. But that doesn't really help you understand the, the subject. Does it? You know, it's nicey-nicey. I, I used to play classical music and then later jazz and so on when I was a professional musician. I, I can't tell you how many times I've had people come up to me after a, a gig and say, oh, that was great, I loved your music, it was so good, you know. But I know deep in my heart I didn't do my best. Or even if I did my best, it wasn't really that good, <laughs> you know? And then to have people come up to me and congratulate me, people who don't play any instrument, who've never gone to music school, <laughs> you know? It, it, what's the value of that? It's nicey-nicey, that's all, you know? Tomorrow everybody wakes up, forgets about it, and, and moves on. And I have the same feeling about this work, that people are watching the videos mostly for entertainment or distraction or something, I don't know. But they're not really getting it. So it's, I can't tell you how discouraging it is. I can't tell you how, I, how much I feel cheated you know, to put out all this work. And then I see, you know, like idiots on Instagram doing stupid jokes and getting millions of views and, and millions of downloads and all this stuff. It's like, it's like, what? <laughs> well, one of my friends used the example, the simile of selling diamonds. If you're selling diamonds, you can't expect too many customers, you know? Well, I've been selling diamonds here for, for eight years on this channel and before that, you know, on other channels, previous stages of my work. And I haven't really got one completed sale, you know? You can go broke selling things that are so precious that nobody can afford them. And that's the way I feel. I feel, I feel um, emotionally bankrupt. People are taking, 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 and not giving. Huh? And what, what I simply need from them is their comprehension. To show me that you really understand this work. And I haven't seen anybody who I could say that about. And after all this time, after all this work, after all this effort, I, I just feel cheated. I feel ripped off. I feel, you know, uh, like I usually feel in relationships, various relationships I've had over the years. 
that this person is just, you know, keeping me around as, uh, I don't know, a kind of a pet or a kind of a foil for what, you know, they, they want to, uh, you know, I, what's the term in vogue now? Virtue signaling. Oh, look, I have a friend who went to India and he knows all this stuff and he's so smart and nobody can understand what he's talking about. Wow, isn't that great? No, it's not great. It's lonely. I, I can't really say that I have any friends because there's nobody who I can sit across from in a room or at a restaurant or a party or anything and, and then have them feed back to me the teaching that I've developed over all this time. Nobody even knows the terminology. I mean, it's so disappointing. It's so frustrating, you know? If you took a course in physics, by the second week, you're able to talk about force, mass, acceleration, you know? And you're able to talk about newtons per square meter. And, you know, if you're taking a course on chemistry, you're able to talk about the different elements, the different chemical compounds, the different types of reactions, acid, base, moles, and so on like that. Calories, whatever. But here, I've been giving this course now for so many years, and nobody can use the technical terms. Nobody can speak the language that I'm speaking by delivering this course. So I feel like I've failed, you know, I feel like I haven't done an adequate job of presenting this stuff, you know. Well, even if I have, nobody is intelligent enough to actually understand it. So like, where are the qualified people? I'm here in India in a holy place where thousands of people come all the time for spiritual things. And none of them has ever approached me. You know? Like, maybe they don't watch YouTube, I guess. I don't know. But I've been here for three years. And I have no friends. Because nobody recognizes me as a spiritual teacher. So, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm, like, dried up. <laughs> I don't, you know, it's your move, goddammit. Do something.